Welcome back everyone, it's Austin Tatius here with another video today of an S-Class multi-tool. Um, this time round I'm actually going to um, show you a standard system rifle in S-Class which I don't normally show um, but this one's quite unique because it has both a black crystal as well as horns so it has a combination of the both um, which is quite unique and I thought it would be worth a video. Um, so we're currently in Isentan Galaxy which is Galaxy number 10 so you'll need to use a portal in Isentan in order to get to this location here. Um, glyphs and portals are Galaxy specific. Um, turn multiplayer off because since, especially since Frontiers there has been quite a few issues with um, some tools spawning for people um, that, are, that have multiplayer switched on. This long nose here, this orange and white halo wing single thruster long nose um, is a first wave space station spawn so it, it will come in every time in first wave and it's quite nice, halo wings are not really my thing um, but if you like the colours and stuff and you don't mind the halo wings you can grab this every time in first wave this is just a B class, but if you wait patiently, um, an S class will eventually show. The um, the station cabinet is just a standard tool. It's a natural C class, uh, so this will only ever be available as a C class. We're not going to worry about that one. So on to the portal moon then so this moon here Robio this is where you'll be portaling into and I'll show you the glyphs for this moon specifically for this moon in a moment but this is where you'll be portaling into and as soon as you arrive on this moon get in your ship get back out again and reload that save and then that will spawn this moon's multi-tool pool into the system wide pool I did start the search here I got 35 settlements in but um, I don't like searching on moons for a few different reasons um, and kind of when you get to 30 anyway on a moon it's sort of time to move on because you start um, going back to sort of previously discovered settlements as well because they're much smaller than planets so I've got 35 in and then moved over to this tropical planet here um, JMET so this is where we're going to find the S-Class cabinet once we've reloaded on the moon which will be your portal moon so that's where we're going to go now so the moon is behind this earth-like planet here it's got two moons this one the, the one we want is behind the planet Right, so this is where you'll be portaling into. So the glyphs for this moon are at the bottom left of your screen now. So these are the glyphs that you're going to need to come straight to this moon. And then as soon as you get through the portal, reload and autosave. And then leave and head to planet JMET. So take a screenshot if needed. And that's what we're going to do now. We're going to reload and save.
Now the coordinates that you'll need for planet JMET are minus 62.23 and plus 19.96. They will remain at the top of the screen, but this is the planet JMET, and this took actually 23 settlements to discover the S class. So in total, with the Moon and this planet, took 58 minor settlements to find the S-Class cabinet for this one. So quite a lengthy search. Just need to remember where the planet is now. And there it is. Yes, yeah, so coordinates at the top of the screen, but it's minus 62.23 and plus 19.96. And this tool is, as I said, quite unique. It's got a black crystal sight and it also has four horns on the barrel as well. Uh, you often see one or the other, like crystal or horns, but you don't often see a mixture of both. So it's quite unique. There is a comm station here which um, which has the settlement marked, but if it doesn't show then you'll have to just use the, um, the coordinates that I've provided. So just to confirm there's the coordinates on JMET. So let's see what the tool looks like. Here she is, the Surge of Certainty, 2-KC6. So as you can see, it's a really nice white and sort of silvery grey barrel and complete finish. But it has here the black crystal sight and it has four horns. So if I turn it to this angle, you can see the four horns as well. One, two, three, four, as well as the crystal. So it's really unique, it's, it's quite a nice tool this one for a standard tool. I, I don't normally show videos of um, standard system tools unless they're quite unique like this one. And I'll sh in first person it looks really good, I'll show you in first person. So there we go, you can see the crystal there as well as the horns really clearly. Yeah, really nice that. So I'll show you the planet details. So coordinates and resources on the right and details on the left. And thank you once again for all your continued support and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.